Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play System Shock Remake. We're in the storage room, cowering, because, well, there's horrors all over the place. But we have to proceed. We have to keep going. We have to stop Shodan. Nothing. Look at that face. That's... Ugh. Okay, so... Give me that bag. Uh, we can go here. We can check this area, which we have. Okay, so this is where we came from. Yep. So let's go over here. Wait, isn't this... No. That's their door. That's that door there. Uh, okay, I'm a quadrant. I would like to go through here as well, though. Maybe I should do that first. Oh, hello. Ouch. go through here. I wouldn't want to waste too much energy on this guy, but we'll see. Where is he? Oh, because the doors have uh, closed. Okay, fine. Be that way. Healing item. Oh, jeez. Radiation poisoning. Uh, right. Yep, give me that, and anything else? I don't think so. Get me out of here. Yeah, our health is going down a little bit. I think we need to... Yeah, get to a med station. Or use one of our things. I obey. Well, he's back there, isn't he? How about we close this first? I want to get back to a healing station. Um, let's go through here. Oh yeah, that's locked. Is it locked? No, oh, it shouldn't be locked. We have the key card. But there is a nasty enemy over here, if I remember correctly. And we're... Yeah, there is. And we're kind of at low health. Hello. Ow! You... They definitely charge you more now. Yeah. They are definitely nastier than before, I feel. I have to be very careful. Spray paint can... I should probably use a one of these consumables because going back to the medical station surgery machine there it is um I mean it's not too far I suppose and we can save the uh, med patch I know I know I always play like this and you know I make the mistake of never never ever using my medical stuff as a result. Um, can vaporize this, vaporize, well, we don't have to vaporize this, we can actually just use it for credits. Let's drink that, vaporize this, 24, yeah, fine, let's just put this in, there we go. Ding, ding, ding. I love that. Okay. Let's go get to that medical station. Hello. How nice of you to greet us. So this is basically free healing. I don't think there's any... Any stopping you from... Uh, not using this over and over. That's a pretty cool jacket we have. Alright, so... We could just go up here into Delta Quadrant. Hello, Delta Quadrant. I have arrived. I don't like Delta Quadrant. <laughs> Hello. 
Cycle through the items in your hotbar with... Okay, you can also customize the contents of the hotbar. So I can cost... You can... I can cycle through them with whatever that was. I probably should have... Um, recharged my stuff as well. It's very dark. Uh, let's take this. Let's see what we have here. I need a key card for that. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> mm, corpse. Oh, what did he have? Oh, it's an ID tag. Okay. Vaporize that. Take all this. Ooh. Lots of these. Big ones. You only get one credit if you vaporize this, of course, because, you know, it only gives you ten uh, scrap. But there's such big things, you know, maybe it's better to do so. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, I forgot to vaporize that as well. We'll do that on the way back, I suppose. Got another med patch. Lots of stuff. I love the environments. Um, they look so good, but also detailed. Nice biological systems monitor. V1 displays the user's health status. Okay. Still don't know how useful this is, but there you go. Okay, we're going to vaporize some stuff. Let's do so then. Vaporize these, vaporize these. Ca what? Carafe. Oh, thermometer, I'm going to keep that for now and try to vaporize it. Hmm. Data stick. Medical report. Physical deformities, convulsions, and no response to conventional treatments. The new mystery virus has me rattled. Origin is supposedly from an experiment on research, but there are no notes to be found. Why are we not getting any treatment recommendations if we made it? Why is Diego silent during all this? I'll consult with Dr. Stackhouse tomorrow since she has two more patients with similar conditions. Ugh. So, Shodan already going crazy there. But the real question is why? Why did Diego want us to remove the ethical constraints? Oh. Medical. Wait, what's new here? Oh, these ones. New code. Healing sweets. But we have read these. Why is this here? All. Oh. And there's still something new here. Not that I can see. We've read it all. All right, uh, inventory. I'm gonna recycle all of that for maximum scrappage. Another tri credit and a small emesis basin. Okay, that was a nice little detour. Lots of stuff to pick up. Oh, geez, where did you come from? From a crate. Are they being shipped in crates now? What the hell? <laughs> oh no, do they just make more? This is where she delivers them from, I guess. That's kind of creepy. I'll be honest. What do we have here? Oh, it's that area. Come to Beta Quadrant and make a stand against Shota. 
I'll try. I really need to find that uh, recycler again. And uh, yeah, recycle all this stuff. We also have space, but we just need to make it. Hmm, nice little area. I think I'll need to... Where? I think I'll need to make the uh, game slightly brighter. Sometimes it's so dark on my screen, it's almost difficult to see um, what I'm trying to pick up. Okay, we've got lots of stuff here. Let's start vaporizing some of these bigger ones. Otherwise, there's no point. And of course, these give us no recycling stuff, so we are free to re um, vaporize them. We've also got this cup here. Okay. There. Okay. Ah, this is the hacking area. Okay, cool. A little data stick here. Shodan's been stretched too thin. With Shodan controlling and monitoring every system on the station, it isn't surprising to see her built-in security subroutine showing its flaws. As of now, it is randomly stealing, uh, sealing storage lockers and storing the code to access them in cyber cores that are only accessible via cyberspace. Throwing this useless information into the same cores as sensitive station information will create an exploit. I'll have Shodan generate defensive systems to keep any would-be hackers away until this issue is sorted. Nothing here. You gain, uh, you can gain higher access and open locked areas by jacking into hi uh, cyberspace at these terminals. So I'm assuming by destroying these um, uh, cameras and lowering the level of security also means that there will be lower security here in cyberspace, right? That's so cool, though. Pulsar Combat V1 software acquired. Let's open. Lovely. Connection integrity. Ow, ow. That was cool. Whoa, okay. He's shooting out. Oh, jeez, okay. God, that looks good. That looks really good. <laughs> okay, what is that? Decoy evasion software. We've got some health here, which we don't need for the moment. We've got... Oh, doors have locked behind us. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Our connection's um, integrity has gone down. Let's replenish it. We've got more health to pick up here. Integrity restored. Bumping into things... Oh! Bumping into things is not the best idea, because it does sort of slow you down. The only problem is... Um, recall escape. The only problem is... Um, yeah, you don't really get much of a feedback when you get hit. Um, so that would be nice to have. There they go. Not a lot of them.
And it also doesn't seem like there's any pause required in my pulsar comet thingy. So you can just, you know, let her rip. Okay, what else do we have? Let's just replenish that. One. More combat, I'm assuming? No? This reminds me of the old game Descent. Uh, Descent. That was fun. And also kind of creepy. Uh, there is no... There is no map here. But I know there was that place, I think, was like a detour. Hmm. Oh, jeez! Where the hell did you guys come from? Okay. Is there anything down here? No. Ooh. Hopefully this isn't too disor disorienting to watch. They come. And they're a lot less benign than in the demo, I have to say. Because in the demo, they just sort of slowly came up to you, if I remember correctly. But now they charge at you. Everything has been made more dangerous, I feel. That's cool. Medical armory unlocked. Excellent. If there's something behind me, I don't know. We'll find out soon enough. No. It's also become very dark now. Oh, here they come. Get out of there. Oh, that's the exit. Nice. So we've unlocked the medical armory, which is good. So that's all the way over here, I think. I think it's there. No, wait. Hmm. I don't know. Slightly confuzzled. But we'll see. Oh, these are unlocked as well. Maybe this is the armory, actually. Ammo depot vending machines offer a selection of ammunition for tri credits. Okay, so this is the armory. Oh, okay. T to pump a second round into the chamber. Effective against robots. Oh, yeah, because this is the... Uh... The tutorial isn't really telling us a lot this time around. Yeah, the mag pulse rifle. Uh, it's electromagnetic, I believe. Like so. There's a lot of stuff we need to recycle now. Uh, let's vaporize some of this stuff. So there is space for more. Take that and vaporize it as well. Because I am usually very much a hoarder in these games um you should expect that i will try to take everything and maximize how much money i get and then most likely never use that money ever <laughs> well no i will but probably sparingly so <laughs> it's an annoying quality of mine in games something which i am trying to get rid of that's gonna be lights yep there's a guy over there. That's... I love that. That's creepy. Okay. We do need to get... We do need to get to the uh, recycling station. Bah.
Fragmentation grenade. These will come in useful. We got another pistol. There we go. Let's put the pistol here. Yep. More ammunition. Sight vision enhancement. What? Intensifies retinal sensitivity to light, making it easier to see in the dark. When the patch wears off, users exper experience temporary photophobia. Interesting. Door open. So, you see worse in bright light. I mean... Yeah. Ah, oh, she does just... She just keeps making more of them. That is concerning. All right, uh, first of all, let's get to that recycling station. I really need to get rid of some of this stuff. Of course, it's going to, you know, fill up very, very quickly again. Excellent. Recycling station. Yes, please. This is going to be good. 21 credits. Look at that. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, let's put more stuff in. This one. Uh, this, this, this. 88. I would like to get more. Okay, let's just do it like this. Okay, put that in there. That. 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 Does that actually give me anything? No. I have to vaporize that. Um... I think that's about it. I love the fact that it actually shows the items you put in. That's really nice. Click, 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 click. Okay, how much, how much money do we have? How many credits? Uh, where do we see the credits? Where's? Pulsar decoy recall. That's the media. Oh, this seventy-eight. Okay, right. So. We could explore more of this area, or we could explore around it. Uh, let's just go this way. Because in the demo, we went all the way around it, and then we explored the interior. Um, we've already opened this. But this time around, we can go here. Hello. Ow! Not nice. Oh, not functional. Okay. I gotcha. Great. I wonder if that other guy will see us and try to shoot us. Time to patrol. There's going to be cameras as well. Wait. There's a charger there, which is perfect. Where is that guy? Nice. Excellent. Man, they did a fantastic job with this game. I really, really like that. Don't necessarily need to open these doors, to be honest, because this only invites, yep, enemies. Exactly. What do we have there? Um. Oh, what the f Uh, close the damn doors! Where did they all come from? <laughs> 
Holy moly! What happened there? Case in point? Yeah, what is that? Uh... Oh, it's um, it's a dispenser. Oh, geez, they're everywhere. Slightly alarming. There's a guy up there. Oh, geez, there's a turret. Oh, what? Did that turret just move there? What the hell? Or maybe it's an additional turret. They made this game a lot trickier, and I love it. Oh, his stuff is still moving. Okay, we've got a grav lift and lots of stuff to uh, vaporize again. Small standard round box. Oh, let's see, there's stuff up here as well. Um, right, just vaporize some of this stuff because there's too much to carry. Too scrap. This stuff doesn't give us anything in the recycling station. And this one gives us 20 scrap. Uh, it's only two credits. But if we recycle, it's four credits. I'm gonna drink some of this. Mmm. Chips. And drinks. Okay. I love inventory management in games. I don't know why. But tis fun. Okay, another patch, which I'll probably never use for some reason. Ooh, what will this do? I wonder. Okay, so, what do we have? Mm, we've got different stuff. Hello, excuse me. We've got different stuff now. Oh yeah, these, that's cool. Um, why do we plug these in here? That's really cool. Ah, this is what we need to power. Okay, that goes there. But that goes nowhere, so that's not a thing. That goes nowhere. Let's power there. And that is split again. How do you go to the one on the right, though? Huh. Kind of bright here. Oh. oh. Wait, what? Was that it? Power hasn't been rebooted. Okay, well, I've solved this one without actually understanding what I did. So, uh, there you go. <laughs> I don't even know what I restored power to what. I have no idea. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. This game is fantastic so far. More difficult than the demo, and I really like it. Um, a big thank you to all my Patreons for your support. If you'd like to support me directly as well, you can click on the description down below or on the video. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.